Come on. Hi, right, Chef Charlie Guy. We're going to do a little egg cookery today. I'm going to show you how to poach an egg. I'll show you two different methods. One that we're going to use the egg right away. I have boiling water. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. So it's not a rolling board, more like a simmer. I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar to it. And our other one, I'm going to add a little vinegar too, also. What happens is, is the acid helps to coagulate the albumin or the white part of the egg. I'm going to add a little salt for flavor. And I've cracked my eggs into a separate individual cup, one egg at a time. I'm going to actually turn this one up a little bit, turn down a little too low. A nice simmer, nice bubbling just on the top, not a continuing rolling bubble. So I can lay my eggs in. And they should start to gather right away, okay? And they are. And my other pan could do the same thing. If they don't start to gather together right away, you can actually take a spoon and help the albumin gather around the yolk just by pushing it together a little bit. Okay. Now, one of the first methods that I've learned to poach eggs was once I have my egg in, it's coagulated, turn the stove off completely, put a lid on it, and give it about four minutes, and it will work out really well. My other side, I'm going to put a little more of the water on top, the hot water on top. You can see the two different pans. You literally can use an omelet pan, which makes a lot of sense, or you can use a small saucepan too. Okay? I'm going to set my plate up a while for the one that we're going to plate. I'm going to take a nice plate. I'm going to take a piece of toast and put my poached eggs on toast points. And if you had watched the other one where we did scrambled eggs, you can see the toast points are just a little different this time. Something a little different. Now my eggs are over here. You can use a skimmer, which I'll probably use on this one. It's a little larger. Or a nice spoon, a nice slotted spoon. Once the eggs are, are cooked completely, now you want your yolks nice and soft. Okay? And you can tell if you try this without the acid in here, without the vinegar. Some folks use lemon juice in it. They Nine chance out of ten will be floating all over the place. So I'm scrambled eggs and water. Not a good thing. All right, these are almost finished. What with this, I'm going to do is show you how you can literally poach the eggs ahead of time. If you're doing eggs Benedict or a crab Benedict or a Chesapeake Benedict, any of the Benedicts that you're going to put it on a English muffin, some type of protein with it, and then finish it with a sauce. Here I have ice, ice and water underneath the double mesh strainer. Okay, push the double mesh strainer on it. And what I'm going to do is take my poached egg now, it's held together real nice, and lay it into the ice water. Wow, once these are cold, literally can hold them up to two, three days, no problem whatsoever. I'm going to let this cool before I pull it out of there. Now my other one, should be just perfect. Okay, so I'm going to work with my skimmer. Done very nice. You can see they coagulated pretty well together. Try to get most of the moisture off of it. You don't want to make your bread soggy. And we're going to lay it right over top of our toast points. Once again, nice. Very well cooked. Now, you notice I let this in just a little longer than the other one. Why? Because I, 
I'm going to serve it right now. Okay. The other one, I want to have a little bit looser because the reheating method, which I'll go over in just a minute. Now, nice white cheddar cheese sauce over the top. Looks like a queso. Now you could serve it with a protein or a potato or some type of starch or maybe quinoa or, or a different type of, of grain. I'm going to take a little bit of paprika over the top and finish my plate with a little bit of parsley on both sides. Nice simple poached egg. Clean my plate up a little. Okay. Very simple. Now, the eggs that are chilled, literally could take and grab them with my hand. Why do, I, why do you have to do this? Ice is sharp, okay? It has sharp edges to it. I can feel this is a little warm still, just by my hand. Your body temperature is at 98.6, so it's warm to my touch, probably about 110 degrees, not quite cool enough. You want to make that cool till it's at least, you know, or really close to 40 degrees. Okay, so it's ready to go. Chef Charlie, we thank cookery.